You may be somewhat familiar with the role of a paramedic in the ambulance service, but there are many roles in the ambulance service, and without some of them, it wouldn't run as smoothly as it does. Have you noticed the guys working in the background here? They're ambulance fleet assistants, otherwise known as AFAs. They restock the truck, clean the truck, carry out some light maintenance, and get the truck ready for the crews so that when the crews come in, they can go straight out on the treble nine cars. What team are you? The A team. The A team. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm here, I'm here with the A team, Afas. <laughs> we've got Ron, aka Rocket Ron. Hi. We've got Graham, and we've got Taz over here as well. What does an Afa do? Basically, the role of an Afa is to make ready ambulances clinically and mechanically for the crews. Yeah, cleaning, washing of the trucks, mopping inside as well as doing all the bonnet checks and make sure the windscreen is clear as well. This is arguably one of the biggest stations in the UK. So how many trucks a day would be done here? On average we have a peak of about between 35 and 40 yeah. and a total of 50, 52. How long would it take the three of you to offer your average truck? And kick I would that say out? at least half an hour. Is the job what you thought it would be coming into the job? I'll be honest with you, right, it's a lot more than I expected, yeah. you know, because you're not just making a truck ready, there's other things associated with it as well. The role of the AFA has changed dramatically. It's gone from like 14 trucks to like 35 now. You're working 12 hours a day, and in those 12 hours I'm probably walking and running between 10 and 15 miles a day. What's changed here is, is the volume of work. What I've definitely found is, right, that uh, the crew numbers have gone up. Yeah. Right, okay, so there's a lot more demand, so there's a lot more trucks that are coming through now. So that's, uh, you know, one of the things that makes it more of a demanding role. Overall, I do enjoy what, what I do, um, but there is a lot of responsibility. The most challenging part about being an AFA is making sure that you've got a truck out and you know it's out as fast as you can if needed, but having the knowledge that all the items are on there. But when you realise that there's over 1,500 items in the ambulance, yeah, you know, you don't really, when you look around it, you don't really think there's that many, but believe me, there is. So just talk us through what your role and your team would be at the moment. At the moment, my job is I come in, I do a, a full check on the ZOL. And that's the monitor we use? The yeah, ZOL. the ZOL monitor. And then I jump onto the Internox kit, and then obviously the lads that I work with there, starting from the other end of the ambulance, and I then jump on the far end and I'll work towards them and meet in the middle. D different gases on the ambulance as well. Uh, also I'll check the, uh, the power pack, the suction machine and with the cupboards and that and the oil consumables that are on the ambulance itself. Once the uh, cupboards and everything is stocked up appropriately we put tags on to say that cupboard is um, being made correctly. Well I'm now in the process of sorting out this BLS bag. And this is the bag that we use to go into every job. Every job. And it's got some of our observational equipment in. That's correct. And obviously the basic load support that we use. Make sure your adult BBMs in there, your PBBM, your suction, and your masks. And make sure your gas is full. And that's full. That's full. Yeah. Have you ever found anything weird in the front of the cab? Last uh, year, Christmas period, I did find a half eaten roast chicken. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Taz and Graham, they tell me that you like to bring in Britney Spears CDs. <laughs> is, that, is that true? Is that That's true? not true. Because there's true. a hi-fi there. There's a hi-fi there, but it's your little collection next to it. There's some nah, dodgy nah, CDs. Nah. Do you ever see a bit of kit that's been used in the truck and then wonder what's happened to that patient? Uh, sometimes. Um, if, if you play some of mine, I'll ask the uh, paramedics you know, for a, a decent job, as they call it. Yeah, oh, I did. They, they oh, it as a bad job. Yeah, <laughs> I, I do because you know, to, in 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 the sense that obviously I'm not 
on the front line, so I don't know exactly how the equipment is used, but I, I do understand that it's very important that I ensure everything's all stocked up correctly, because the last thing that you want is for a crew to go out and there's something missing, important, that can be detrimental. And sometimes when the truck comes back and you see different items, you get sort of a visual of what's been going on. So do you think that the condition that the truck would be in when it's brought back at the end of a shift tells a bit of a story about the journey that the crew's been on that day? It can do some days, yeah. You know, you've got to make sure that when you do this truck, everything is on there because you never know what's going to happen. And what's on here is life and death. You know, you can't miss anything off this ambulance. It's got to be stopped A1. So what would you say is the most um, enjoyable part of the job for you? What do you look forward to coming to work? Uh, I look forward to meeting my colleagues and we have a good banter between us, work as a team, as a unit. I find it enjoyable. We have a good understanding between ourselves. Okay? Yeah. And, uh, you know, we ensure that we do a good job. Good teamwork. Yeah, yeah. Uh, absolutely. We're a good crew. We get yeah. on well. There's a lot of different roles within the ambulance service that I don't think the public realise that goes on. Obviously, I didn't realise there's all these different roles, you know, like an AFA, a paramedic, an ECA, a tech, mechanics, logistics. I said, you know, it goes on, control room. There's lots that the public do not see. What, what do you kind of look forward to coming to work to every day? No, no, I'm, I'm doing a good job for the public, uh, helping alongside all the paramedics. And when they obviously save a life, I've uh, played a part in that role.